I'd like to ask now for Roger Way, the president of uh, Club Gold Coast, to step up here and introduce our guest speaker, Mr. Bruce Linton. We first met Bruce probably 28, 29 years ago, and also Margaret, and we've been friends ever since. Um, Bruce is, I think, the longest serving BMW dealer in Australia until he retired. And he's also an accomplished motor racing person. And they, the Linton family have been very instrumental in charity work over the last 20 odd years. So Bruce, please come up. Well, one other thing I've got to say, he's left his white shoes at home tonight, so he's not the shonky used car salesman, he used, possibly used to be. But his greatest used car sale he ever did, as far as Sandra and I are concerned, he sold us our E30 325 IS 28 years ago. <laughs> Still going strong. Talk to us about your life. Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this wonderful evening here in this beautiful, sunny Queensland. <laughs> wow, what a weather we're having. We just drove down from uh, Southport. And I'll tell you what, there was all kinds of opportunities to go sliding off the road. There was some deep, deep water everywhere. But we got through and we got here. And uh, welcome everyone. You all look great. You know, what a terrific idea. Anyway, yeah, I'm supposed to tell you about BMW. Well, I'll just go through my, my time with BMW very, very quickly if I can because it started a long, long time ago. 1961, in Munich. I first went into the plant in BMW in Munich in 1961, and my God, it was fantastic. There were all these little cars going round and round, and they were building these uh, little motorcycle engine cars, and they were, they were all running around, and they were busy as anything, and I thought, and I really enjoyed it. And I went and saw what they have there as a museum, even in 1961, long time ago. Go forward to 1962, and I'm working in Canada for the BMW importer for Canada. And fortunately, he was a real promotional guy, Peter Mackay. And he thought that, uh, seeing I could drive, that we should go motor racing. So we went motor racing in a BMW 700 rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive, rear wheel engine, air cool, BMW 700 at Westwood Motor Speedway Raceway in Vancouver. And so that was my first racing BMW in 1962. What we did to try and make it handle is we, did, we reversed the front wheels so that we took them off, turned them around, put them back on and increased our track by about four inches. <laughs> and it did pop a little bit and uh, we had a lot of fun in that car. So that was what started motor racing in BMW with me and uh, I really enjoyed it. And while I was working there, they had the first release of the 2000s. That was the car that really put BMW on the road. So, once more, we'll have to go forward a number of years. In fact, we're going to skip forward 11 years till 73. 1973, BMW, Gold Coast. Here I am selling used cars, and I love BMWs ever since that first moment I saw them. So, I went and approached BMW distributors, which were Oroberg and Queensland. They approached BMW in Munich. They told me what I had to do to have a BMW dealership, and uh, shortly thereafter, October 73, they granted me the BMW distribution for the Gold Coast. I built a little showroom, and April Fool's Day, would you believe, in 1974, saw me in my little showroom in the Rank Street, where we went and spent 43 years selling magnificent BMWs there all that time. And we started there with uh, a 2002, a 30 CSI, a 520i, one of the very, very first to come to this country, and uh, a 30S sedan. And everyone said, you're mad. 
No one knows what a BMW is in this country. What's a BMW? British, this, British, that. What is it? What is it? I said, wait and see. And I put the BMW round Dell up and uh, we never looked back. 43 years, all those years, wonderful, wonderful clients, a number of you here in this room who've spent money with me and enjoyed our hospitality that we've done through the years. And through those years, motor racing was a big deal for me. I, I didn't like advertising in newspapers all that much, but I liked to put my name on the side of a race car. And so I started with the 323i, which you see here in the foreground. And we went into Bob James' touring car series in um, late 70s. And we drove all the way around Australia and going in race after race after race. And they were, true, they were really absolutely off the showroom floor cars. As you can see that thing, it's not handling all that well. But I had a, a really good co-driver and his name you will know, I think he's one Bathurst, etc. Tony Longhurst. He was my co-driver in those days. Young kid, I taught him everything he knew. <laughs> so he knows at that time, he's improved since then. And so that started um, motor racing with BMW. And so it progressed and progressed and progressed. And so we then went to the 318IS, which you also see here, which, uh, which won us in 1990 the Queensland Touring Car Championship. Can you imagine a BMW 318IS winning a Touring Car Championship? But we did. The BMW 318IS, which you see in these photos, racing, the, the photos here are of me at Bathurst, actually, and I'm leading very nicely. And, uh, it was a great little car, and once again, it was basically a production car. Mind you, it, that particular car was a production car that BMW built especially for me in Munich. It wasn't an everyday car, although it did look it and it didn't meet all the requirements. But it was a very, very special car. It performed very, very special for me, and we won the Queensland Touring Car Championship. Great car. So, once again, time to progress. So, we then have the uh, E36. And so, the E36, uh, what, have we, what have we got in an E36? Oh, we've got a 2.3 litre engine, uh, six cylinders, let's go for it. And so, off we went racing in the 323. And we did very, very well in it. In fact, we got a place in all the long distance racing in Bathurst in that car and um, it performed exceptionally well and we were racing against engines of other brands much larger than our 2.3 litres and so it was time for us to step up to an M3 and uh, we built, we, well, we were one of those who built an M3R and that, if, if you, do you know what an M3R is? Yeah. An M3R is basically um, Frank Gardner, the great late Frank Gardner, who was, he had BMW in his veins, I think. He produced the, uh, the car that you see down here that won the uh, GT Championship in. Um, that's, that's the 318i. The 1.8 litre engine in that car actually was only a 1.4 litre engine. It was a 1.4 litre engine directly out of the Formula One car. And I could wind up the turbo to 2.3 bar and get 1100 horsepower. <laughs> so, uh, needless to say, we in qualifying, I used to do that. We'd qualify and we'd make front row, and then during the race, I'd gradually turn the bars down and we'd get down to about 600 horsepower, 700 horsepower. And we won the GT championship with that car. And uh, I found that this is 1982 now, or up to. This is 82, I've had these cars. And the most wonderful 
think blocks that that was the year that Alan Jones had just come back from winning his world championship and he and I were always at each other on the front row. He was a terrible star. I used to lead him at least for the first couple of laps, but that was it. From then on, he would find a way pass and not get go. But uh, it was terrific racing in that car with all that horsepower and tremendous car. It was actually a Lola chassis uh, with a BMW body on it and a BMW Formula One engine. The engine was up front, the uh, gearbox was on the rear transaxle. It was a wonderful, wonderful car. Quite a handful, as you'd imagine, with all that horsepower, but it was a wonderful car. So that was that. And then we went to the M3, and the M3 was a great car. It was a car that both my son and I shared, and I drove it for the last time at Bathurst in 2009 and uh, so that extended my racing BMWs from 62 to 2009 uh, which was a lot of motor racing and of course those cars all perform very very well and even today Sunbury is driving the current M3 which he has won the Australian um, Brew Production Championship in twice He's won the six hour at the center twice, and uh, he is now producing those racing cars for other people to drive. And uh, just recently, we only delivered one, a new one last week, and uh, we have built now about, uh, I think, six either M4 or M3 race cars for people to enjoy BMW racing. And uh, you all know what that means the greatest cars, the greatest traction, incredible performance, incredible reliability, and it's something that I was so, so proud to be involved with for those 43 years of business, and um, those oh, 40 years or more, nearly 50 years of driving in race. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, um, Boys and girls, BMW people, whatever you are, lovely to be here. I'm very, very proud to be here. And if there's anything that I can do for you guys, or anything I can tell you or help you with, we still do have a BMW workshop building BMW race cars and servicing BMWs and improving the performance of BMWs. So if any of you want to get involved and know any more about that, Please come and see me. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your lovely evening and remember that you're staying here so you don't have to drink and drive. Thank you. Good night.